What's up guys, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. By far the most requested topic that I have actually been asked to make a video on is how do I conduct product research for wholesale dropshipping? So that is what today's video is going to be about. It's going to be a complete breakdown, a complete step-by-step -step beginner guide to how to do product research specifically for wholesale dropshipping, but this method can work for any method of dropshipping on eBay. Real quick, before I get into the video, I just wanted to say that I do have a Facebook group, which is linked down in the description. That is a community outside of YouTube where we can connect. I try and do weekly live streams and we can help each other out as sellers to grow and build our businesses. So be sure to join that. And like I said, the link is in the description. So now for my method of product research, I always start with having a supplier first. That is the way that I've always done it. And that's the way that I think is the best way to go about it. Rather than trying to find a winning product or rather than trying to find items that sell well, then you have to find the source for that items. I think it's a lot simpler as well. It's a lot less complicated, a lot less time consuming to just start with a supplier first. Once you have a supplier, then you are going to go onto eBay and you're going to try and find which of the items that this supplier sells that are doing well on eBay. This can be if you already have a supplier that you work with, but you just wanna find out which are the best items that are doing on eBay or you have a new supplier that you don't work with, but you just wanna see if it's even worth your time, or you just wanna see again, what are the best items for you to list. Now my entire process does not use software as well as it's relatively easy. And it also allows you to find competitors who are then selling other items from other suppliers. So we're going to find items that are selling well from the supplier that you are originally starting with. And we can also find potentially other suppliers to actually go ahead and list their items. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to take the items or we're going to take the supplier and then we're going to search eBay and then we're going to find the items that have sold for that supplier. After we find the sold listings and we find the listings that are doing well, we are then going to find the sellers for that listing and then we are going to go ahead and see all of the listings that they sell, see what items are doing well for them and then we can use that for our business as well. So that's the entire process and now I'm going to go ahead into the video and I'm going to break it down step by step. So for this tutorial, I wanted it to be as beginner friendly as possible. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process. Now I have other videos on my channel that show you how to find suppliers. So for this video, I'm not going to be showing you that. And I, like I said, I do have other videos. So let's say I was searching Google and I wanted to find a supplier in home and decor. So let's say I was searching and I searched home decor wholesale supplier. Then what comes up are a bunch of suppliers and I came across a supplier called CTW. So once I find a supplier that I want to start working with or that I actually want to conduct product research on, like I said, you can do this if you already sell for that supplier or you want to test out a new supplier. So what I'm going to do is I would click on the link and I would go to their website. Now there are two ways that you can actually do this or there's multiple ways, but the two most common are you can just search up by the brand's name or you can actually search up by a specific item. If you search up by a brand's name, that is going to give you more of a broad sense and it's going to pull up all of the listings where those sellers use that brand's name. But this doesn't get all of the listings because maybe some of the sellers are listing those products without the brand's name in the listing. So I'm going to show you both methods and you can use both and this way you can find which items are actually selling the best for that supplier. So the first way doesn't really even involve us going into the products that this supplier sells. What we are gonna do is we're gonna go to eBay and then we're going to search up by the brand's name. So we're gonna search CTW, and then we're gonna search home collection. You wanna search up the exact brand's name. This way it's going to pull up everything on eBay that has that in the title, or maybe it has it inside the item specific or the description, whatever it is or wherever it is, it's going to pull it up on eBay. So we see that we have around 85 results. So that's obviously not all of the items that are being sold on eBay from CTW. Since CTW does have around 300 or around that number of items. So we know that there are probably a lot of more items that eBay is not capturing, but we'll get to that later on. So just from these listings, we want to see if we can see any items that are selling well. And we do see some that say 13 watching. We see some of the other ones that say maybe it sold once and we see a couple of other items. Now what we want to do is maybe we can even shorten down the search. So let's just go CTW. And from this, I want to see if this is actually going to pull up more items and this can actually be a broader search and maybe we can find some other items that are selling. So again, this might have been too broad. So I'm going to go back to CTW home collection. And from there, I am actually going to search the sold listings and see what items have actually sold using this search term. So the way that I'm going to do that is I go to right here where it says advanced, I hit advanced. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click sold listings. 
So you want to check this right here and then you are going to press search and this is going to search all of those listings that have sold with this search term attached to it. So we see that this one sold August 3rd. That was around 13 days ago. Then this one sold July 19th. So just from this search right here from the sold listings for CTW, it doesn't even seem like this is actually a supplier that's worth starting to work with. They have over 300 items and an item is selling every maybe two weeks. So from this search, it looks like that their items are actually not selling well. So we're going to take a different approach and we're going to actually see if we can find specific items that are selling well. This way we can actually broaden down our search or we can actually find specifically more items that sell. well. So there are two ways to do that. Number one is that we can go inside the, our suppliers website and we can search their products one by one or we can randomly just go ahead and search a product and then we can go to that product on eBay and try and find where it's being sold on eBay or we can go back to our original search and we can actually see if there's a listing that's sold multiple times. So I see this bread box right here has sold twice. So maybe that's an item that's actually worth checking out. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this item's title and then I'm going to go back to CTW and I'm going to type in vintage bread box since that is the name that I saw on eBay. So I'm going to type in vintage bread box on here and then it should pull up the listing on CTW and we're going to see if it's being sold on CTW. So we are going to find the item right here on their website. So what we then want to do is we want to go back to eBay and we want to take the items title. And there are a couple of ways to do this as well. So we're going to type in vintage bread box and you can either type in vintage bread box and then you can either take the item number right here. So that would be the 770 number or you can actually take the brand's name. So we're going to type in vintage bread box and then we're going to take the name of our supplier. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what you use. You might want to use both and see where it gets you in the searches because again, some listings are going to come up for one search as some listings are going to come up for another. So it's best to actually just do both and just do as many different searches as you possibly can. So we found a lot of different listings that have sold for that search term. So these really don't look like they match that, but we found around one, two, three listings that have actually matched that and these listings seem to be doing well. So just to broaden down your search and to see how many people are actually selling it, like I said, we wanna check the competition. So unclick sold listings, and then we're going to actually just search broadly for this key term on eBay, and we wanna see how many people are selling it. So we saw that people actually did buy it twice, but that was for a pretty narrow search term. We wanna find the broadest search term, and we actually wanna make sure that this item is selling. We wanna make sure that this bread box is an item worth selling. And what we can also do is instead of going through CTW's website and instead of just trying to find all the items and going back and forth, once we find a competitor, what we can do is we can actually go to their listing and then we can go inside of all of their items that they're selling. And then we could see if they're selling any other items from CTW and see what items are actually selling for them. So I know it sounds complicated, but just bear with me. So you're going to go inside their listing and you're going to click the items that they're selling. So we're going to click items for sale. And it looks like they're selling a very broad amount of items, not only CTW. So again, you might have to go through a couple of different sellers to find the ones that are doing the best, but this could be a good example. So we can't actually find any other CTW listings for sure. And it really looks like they just sell all the broad stuff. And this is probably a retail drop shipper. So this is someone that you don't really want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to try and find a seller that is more or less specifically selling CTW. So this way I can actually find items that are selling well. And if I can find a good item that is going to sell well. So for the search terms, I actually just took out the search term CTW and now I'm just searching vintage bread box and I'm going to see if this is going to bring up some other search terms or maybe some other sold listings. And this might actually be a broader search. So we might find some other items that have sold or we might find more listings for this listing that has actually sold. So, so far we don't really see a lot of bread boxes. We don't see a lot of them here. We have the same one. So this one sold August 12th, which was four days ago. So that's pretty recent. So let's go with this one and maybe this one has actually sold. So we see that this one has actually two sold and that's more than we saw from the other listings. So we're going to open this up and we're going to see when those listings have actually sold. So it looks like for this specific listing, it sold once in April 9th and once in August 12th. So that's not really an item that sells well, but maybe the profit margin is pretty good on this listing. I wouldn't really sell this one. I wouldn't say that this is going to be the item that I would choose to list first but I would basically make an Excel sheet and I would put this listing down as a potential listing just from the fact that it does sell. So let's say I wanted to sell this listing. 
what I would do is I would basically go to sell now and I would open it in a new tab. And since I know that this listing or this specific title has these specific keywords and I know that this specific formula of whatever this seller has used actually sells is I would basically take this title. I might, you know, switch it around. So I might take out the word new. I might add a couple of things or maybe search some other listings and make the best title. And then I would just add the photos, make it really good for my specific use. And then this is what I would list just because there are is past data that shows that this listing sold. So once you find an item that is going to sell and once you actually find a winning product, you can then go into the seller's category or into the seller's page. And then you can actually look up the items that they're selling. And it looks like this seller actually does have a lot of items from CTW that they're listing. And you'll see that some of these have 12 watching, five watching, but that doesn't always mean that the watchers are converting to sales. So you can also look out for people that it's going to say three sold, four sold. So here we found a motorcycle tool bag that says 20 sold, but this doesn't really look like CTW. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep looking for items from CTW that say six watching or 13 sold. So maybe this item is from CTW. So what I would do is I would take this title and I would go to CTW and I would actually look up to make sure that this item is from them and that it's selling. But another thing that since we're on the seller's profile page, what we can do is we can take an item that they're selling that's selling well for them. And since they already work with a supplier that I have found that I think is going to be good, we can go to one of the listings that is selling well, and then we can try and find the supplier who is supplying that listing. And maybe we can actually start working with them. So what I would do is I would click on the listing that is selling well. And what I would do is I would try and find which seller or where the supplier is that they are actually getting this from. So what I would do is I would either open up the image and I would search Google for this image. So you can actually go to search Google for image that might bring up the supplier's website. Or what I can do is I can scroll down to where the item specifics are and the item description. And maybe by chance, this seller actually lists out the name of their supplier. So once you get down to the item specifics, you either want to search by the brand name or you want to search by the manufacturer part number. So if we search by the manufacturer part number, that's going to bring up the on Google, it's going to bring up where all of that is basically from. So what we want to do is we want to find out specifically where the supplier is for this listing. So we see that we have a 10 inch leather bag and this says wholesale. So this is going to allow me to believe that this is the wholesale supplier. So I'm going to basically press this website and I want to make sure that this is the actual supplier for this bag. So we have right here, dark brown, and let's see if this is actually a wholesale supplier. So they're selling it for 24 and the motorcycle bag was, uh, it's 34 on eBay. So maybe this is the supplier that they're getting it from. This could be a good item to sell and it is cheaper than on eBay. So maybe this is the supplier, but this is just a way that I find products that sell well. And then I actually find competitors and then I find what items are selling well from them. So this is my entire strategy for product research, how I test if a supplier is good and how I find competitors and find other items that are selling well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this video also is able to help you. Again, I wanted to make it as broken down and as step-by-step -step as possible. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you are new. I make other content around eBay drop shipping, making money online and just everything like that. Also again, remember, be sure to join the Facebook group. The link for that is in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.